found in this, this body, 5,000 years old. This yeah. body is 5,000? Yes, from 3,000 BC, these bones. This poor being. So this is a basket work coffin. Yeah. Basket work coffin from 3,000 years ago. Mm -hmm. It's amazingly preserved. Yes, yeah, as moving as anything else here. Mm. Portraits here, these Roman portraits that were done for mummies later, Egyptian mummies later. It was from one of these that I took that cover for Christ the Lord out of Egypt. That's actually a, a Roman portrait that's on the cover of the book that comes from um, this period of a young boy the, that was made from a mummy. The 12 year old Jesus. Or the... Right, yeah. That was actually a funeral portrait like these here. Um, because, you know, they went on mummifying. And they went on with the idea of the face on the coffin, but they changed it to a Roman portrait. Uh -huh. So they've left us these wonderfully realistic portraits of people um, as part of their funeral art. Look at that one. It's so incredible. And this one. Look at the aim, the aim at realism and, and personality and personalness. Or this one here. That's from 170. Wow. It's incredibly animated. Here's one. There's an example of the mummy with that realistic portrait that comes later in the Roman period. See it? And this appears to be a cloth wrapped around right. the figure. Yeah. See, I, 
before now, I had never been aware of uh, cloth wrappings. Um, I had always assumed it was something similar to this lower one here with um, mm -hmm. I guess yeah. a wood-hewn casket. Well, that's a good point, yeah. There, you're right, there's one that's part of the case. There's a antique mummy case, perfect, and there you have this realistic portrait that could have been done last week. Yes. You know, um, capturing the face of that person, and see, he's even turned at an angle. It's, it's not meant to look it's like it's not his face directly staring on, at the mask. Exactly. Yeah. It's just kind of wonderful. Yeah. And I used to not want to look at this. I, I only wanted to see the pure old Egyptian stuff. But now I see this is wonderful. It's as legitimate and fascinating Wonderful. and beautiful as anything else because it's people taking the old forms and evolving into a new way of looking at things. Mm -hmm. It's not grotesque no. or impure. It's it's something that evolved. And so you have a fusion of the, of the old Egypt way of doing it with this very new, new Western way of perceiving the person as having a distinct personality. Mm -hmm. And... Mm -hmm. um, you know, at wakes, perhaps we have a similar practice. Uh, we have that moment where we remember the person how they were, but perhaps this is a perpetual wake. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we put up pictures now. Everybody brings color pictures of, of moments with the deceased, and there was frequently a big portrait standing right by the coffin. And this is a, a movement toward that. The idea that he doesn't have to look in death like a stylized mask. He can look like himself on his coffin. 